Hello, everyone. I'll be presenting our work, Web UI, a data set for enhancing visual UI understanding with web semantics. This work was done with my collaborators, Carrie, Lisa, Yihao, Jeff Nichols, and Jeff Bigum. Models that understand user interfaces can power a wide variety of systems that are used for accessibility, task automation, and UI design. Often, they must interact with UIs in environments with incomplete or missing metadata, which necessitates that they reliably understand UIs visually. Currently, visual UI understanding models are trained on datasets that are manually collected and annotated. These datasets are costly and time-consuming to collect. For example, Rico, a popular data set of 70,000 Android screens, took five months and $20,000 to collect. And this makes it prohibitively, prohibitively costly to collect and update. Yet, because design patterns vary across platforms and change over time, it's necessary to keep these datasets current so that models can generalize to real-world use cases. As a potential solution to this, we explored the idea of using web pages as a source of data for visual UI modeling tasks. Each web page contains many types of metadata that can be automatically queried and saved to replace things that would normally need to be annotated. In addition, we can actually re-render the same web page using different viewport sizes, different device headers, and we can even capture a full page screenshot. All this metadata can be useful for training models that recognize these attributes in other types of UIs. We collected Web UI, a large data set of 400,000 rendered web pages associated with automatically extracted metadata. This is several times larger than previously released data sets because we could collect it using highly automated crawling. The crawled data contained some noise, but we found that most screens met basic criteria for, criteria for visual modeling. 20% of screens had some partially occluded elements, and 70% of pages were responsive. We wanted to know if we could use this large data set to improve UI understanding in the mobile domain, which often lacks semantic metadata. We first looked at a common task known as element detection, where a model needs to detect the location of UI elements in a screenshot. This application was relatively straightforward since web UI contains the accessibility tree of web pages, which we can use to compute the bounding box and accessibility rules of web elements. In, in addition, there are publicly available datasets like VINs with fewer but higher high quality annotations for mobile apps. We applied a fine tuning strategy where we first pre-trained a model using the large web data set until it converged. Then we used the weights as a starting point for the fine tuning phase where we refined the model output uh, by training on VINs. Next, we looked at screen classification which requires the model to categorize a UI into a set of classes based on its screenshot. The problem here is that web UI doesn't contain any screen class labels, and there isn't any metadata that is close enough to substitute for it. However, there are smaller mobile data sets like Enrico, which consists of 1,460 annotated app screens. So in this case, we can apply semi-supervised learning, which uses a small amount of labeled data and a larger amount of unlabeled data to make a model perform better. First, we train a model on the Enrico dataset and use that to create uh, what's called a teacher classifier. And this teacher classifier was used to generate pseudo labels for all the screenshots in the web UI dataset. And finally, we can train a student classifier, which is the final model that learns from both the original Enrico labels, as well as the generated predictions for the web uh, screenshots. Finally, we looked at a UI modeling task called screen similarity, 
which is useful for segmenting screen recordings to line up with UI views. In this case, we can use the URLs of websites to determine if two screenshots belong to the same web page, but were visited at different times. We can also use the full page screenshots to simulate things like scrolling, which can cause visual variation. In our experiments, we found that incorporating a technique called domain adaptation allowed our model to learn more transferable features between web and mobile UIs. The technique only required unlabeled examples of mobile screenshots to improve performance. And our paper contains more details about how this technique works. We applied these strategies in a series of experiments, and we wanted to see if the amount of data that we used with each strategy affected the model's final performance. We created randomly sampled splits of data that had 7,000, 70,000, and 350,000 web pages. We also created a smaller but higher quality data split through data balancing and filtering, which resulted in 7,000 web pages. Across our experiments, we found that using more data led to more effective uh, transfer learning and better performing final models. We also found that data balancing and filtering could lead to improvements over uh, other similarly sized splits of data. So to recap, we showed that web UI can be used to support a wide variety of UI understanding applications by combining automated and human annotated labels. Here, here's a framework that summarizes uh, our experiments. For element detection, we applied fine tuning because we had labels for both web and mobile data. In screen classification though, we only had labels for mobile data. So we applied semi-supervised learning where we used the web data as the unlabeled source. Finally, our screen similarity model used domain adaptation to better transfer models that were learned using web, web metadata to uh, mobile apps. Our current work focused on transferring web semantics to the mobile domain, but there's a potential to do a lot more. We only use a small subset of the types of data that our crawler gathered and did an experiment with other things like computed CSS styles, UI source code, and other kinds of accessibility metadata. So there's a lot more we can uh, use to understand UIs visually. Another topic we hope to explore is a more generalized type of understanding. So instead of making models specifically for one platform or even to web or mobile, uh, we intentionally rendered web pages with different simulated devices and viewports, which we think could be useful in making models that can actually handle all of these variations. So to wrap up, I wanted to encourage everyone to check out the web UI dataset code and models, which uh, we, we made publicly accessible and open source. Uh, I'm looking forward to answering your questions uh, talking with you and seeing you uh, at the Kai conference.